Hello, welcome back, Freddy in the Shed 1 video. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about power supplies today. Now, I know this isn't the most interesting subject, and uh, all of you experienced uh, radio guys probably are switching off right now, but for the new people, you know, what I call the newbies coming onto radio, like I was just a few years ago, I want to talk about these little fusion power supplies. Now there's been, I think, two or three questions put up on Facebook over the last couple of weeks. New people coming on and new people saying, you know, what are these uh, regulated fusion power supplies like? They seem to be quite cheap on eBay. And, uh, you know, I bought one of these because it was cheap, like the budgie. And uh, really, I found to my own cost that it is absolutely, well, terrible really to do with anything um, for radio. Why? Well, because it's got a lot of RF noise. It may be a regulated output, but it's not a clean, quiet output. It is not meant for radio. Now, I'm not saying that these are completely useless because they have their uses, and uh, I found a use for this. I use this up in the uh, shack when I'm not on radio and I'm doing a little bit of the uh, sort of sim racing stuff, I find that it lights up the shack all nice and neon blue, and that's absolutely fine, no problems at all. As a bench power supply, it is a pretty good unit, but as a radio power supply, I'm afraid I don't recommend these at all, and you are really wasting your money, uh, and you need to sort of save up for something a little bit better. I mean, you know, on the face of it, they all seem pretty good, actually. I mean, it's, it's reasonably well made for the money. Um, the fan's a little bit noisy when you start it up. I um, don't know if you can hear that. Let me adjust the mic for you. There you go. You can hear that. So the fan's a little bit noisy, which can be, uh, you know, can be a little bit distracting. It does have rather a nice display, as you can sort of see here. You know, it gives you the uh, the voltage, and more importantly gives you the ampage draw which is always quite uh, you know quite an idea to keep an eye on this this particular um, power supply I've got here is it can run at 13.8 and uh, up to maximum 15 amps so it's quite a useful uh, power however as I say it is very noisy RF wise as soon as you switch this on um, especially on a CB radio it's a little bit better on HF gear because they've got better filters but uh, it does produce noise. And I can demonstrate that, if I just move up here, I can demonstrate that with my uh, my Yaesu there, my FRG8800. So we'll do a little bit of a demo on that just now, and I'll see if I can show you the noise that this uh, power supply kicks out. Right, so here we are on the Yaesu FRG8800. A, uh, a very old now, but still a very good little shortwave uh, receiver, by the way. Still pick these up on eBay, but they are getting a little bit scarce now. So just on uh, 27 megs there, 27.830, just a random frequency I've chosen. I'm on the AM band, just because AM picks up more interference anyway. And as you can sort of see there on the signal meter there, we've just got a basic kind of S1 of uh, static, as you would expect. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna switch on that fusion power supply. Keep an eye on that uh, signal meter. And there you go. Can you see that? straight up now, S3 to uh, S4, completely wiping out any of the distant little DX stations that you might be listening for. Completely useless, really. Um, terrible. I'm now gonna switch it off again, so watch that uh, signal meter. Boom, and there we go. Straight back to S1, and I'll do it now with the uh, sound up. I'll put the microphone just by the speaker, and you can hear the power supply with its RF completely wiping out all of the signals that's receiving by the 3D uh, receiver there. Okay, so firstly just going to hear normal static, what you'd expect. Okay, going to switch on the uh, power supply now. Listen to how it wipes everything out. Switching off now. So did you notice that little peak as well? That's quite worrying when you switch it off. There's a massive sort of little peak of noise. Now, you know, to be fair to it, if, if you're not interested perhaps uh, sort of on sideband and CB, on the broadcast band, for example, here on shortwave, um, it has no effect. If I switch the power supply on now, if you listen, 
That's the power supply on. And that's the uh, that's that's the power supply off. So uh, on the short wave, uh, really has no you know no effects. It's just when you get up to sort of round about the uh, 27 megs. Unfortunately, it resonates RF on uh, on 27 megs. So it's a bit of a shame, really, because I say they are you know they are cheap supplies, but I think they uh, they are sort of cheap for a reason. So you know, unfortunately, I can't really recommend these. And uh, even the fan noise is quite, you know, it's quite, it's quite obstructive, really. I think if you're trying to listen for uh, signals, sounds like a little mini tornado. Now there are other regulated switch mode power supplies that pretty haven't got the fancy uh, display. They've got a much quieter fan, and they don't interfere with uh, radio. And I'd recommend one of those if you can spend a little bit extra. You know, I, I bought one of these sort of uh, QJE power supplies. I'll just zoom into it just sits up here you know I, I bought one of these um, there we go just that one there you know they're pretty cheap to be honest I mean I think I paid about sort of just under 70 pounds for that okay it's more expensive than the fusion one um, but that, that power supply has been absolutely fine and uh, that is also 30 amp as well so it's twice the power of the little uh, little fusion one and that's probably what I'd recommend you know maybe that or perhaps the uh, little multicom DC switch mode power supply the one I'm going to use on uh, holidays you know maybe something like a multicom something like that you know get something that's a little bit dedicated to uh, to radio and not really for bench testing if you can afford it go for maybe the Alinco power supply it's going to cost you over 100 pounds unfortunately but it does have some useful uh, sockets on the front like USB kind of uh, charging port so you can sort of charge your phone so there you go just thought I'd you know do this one not moving my hands so much in front of the camera because people are getting a little bit wound up about that for some reason but there you go so yeah power supplies you know just try and stick to the recognized brands uh, for your radio I'll leave a little pop-up suggestion on the other two power supplies that I've bought, tested, and also the one, I'll put one up there as well, the one that I made in that little plastic box that sits in the uh, shed shack and has been working absolutely fine with the 6900 and I built that for 11 pounds uh, and that's just an LED power supply, but even that is a hell of a lot quieter than this uh, rather noisy Fusion Chinese power supply. But that's it for now, just a sort of quick one. Cheers, as always, thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Your time is always appreciated on Freddy in the Shed 1. But as for now, as always, take care, stay, stay safe in the heat. And uh, 73, I'll catch you on the next one.